So I promised a video about unlocking channels that you had previously locked and hidden. We'll take a look at my tail control. With the tail control, in my edit menu, one of the options is this channel control window. In the channel control window, I've got two tabs, keyable and locked. In keyable, I've got three channels. I've got keyable, non-keyable hidden, and non-keyable displayed. You can see that in keyable, I've got translate X and translate Y. If I wanted to add translate Z back in, I could just scroll through the non-keyable hidden until I found it. Oh, alphabets, they're so long. Look, here's the rotates. I could add the rotates back in. Maybe we'll do that. And somewhere down here, there is Translate Z. Now, the funny thing about this part is that there are three buttons, right? There's Close. This Move button has little arrows on it. This Move button will move over to Non-Keyable Displayed. This Move button will move over into Keyable, so I want to click this button and move these into Keyable. I can also use the Locked button here. Uh, right now these are locked and these are non-locked, so I could take all of these and unlock them. Uh, once you've got the channels visible, you can also right-click on them and you can unlock selected. So this window is a bit of a bear. I'm not a big fan. Wouldn't it be nice if someday we could write a script that would replace this window so we didn't need it anymore? Yes, it would! Boy, I sure hope we do that soon. So that is how you unhide channels that you have hidden. Again, edit, channel control, and just search through this big long non-keyable hidden list. And remember that it is the button on the right that moves into the left column.